Hey, hello to all my friends. Before we get started in today's video, I got a mobile game for you guys that you just might like. Alliance Heroes of the Spire. It's absolutely breaking into the mobile charts because it's, well, epic. The game has almost 400 unique characters and you can combine them in thousands of different ways to fight on the battlefield. They've got PvP mode which you can play against anyone in the world and have like massive battles between guilds. Or you can fight to the death against crazy ass giants, that's always fun too. Download the game for free through the link in my description and you get 50,000 gold and 50 gems to use within the game. That'll give you a good head start. Alright, today we're going to be looking at the top 10 songs that suck to play if you have small fingers. And I think it makes the most sense for me to do this video because I have little girl hands. And I'm going to prove it by measuring my fingers. Oh, apparently this is still stuck from when I measured my, uh, arm. So there you have it. My longest finger is like a measly three inches long. I'm so jealous of people with long fingers. Oh my god. I have like stretch envy right now. Oh, come on, that's gotta be photo- please tell me that's photoshopped. Alright, so let's start our list off. Here's number 10 on our list. So early in the song, John plays a riff like this. And then stretches all the way down to the 3rd fret, so you're stretching from 3rd fret down to the 8th. Great, thanks John. Well, apparently not everyone finds this stretch difficult. Like, look at him, he's like, what, whatever, I'm playing a chord that spans like 50 frets, you know, no big deal. So I gotta throw like a heavier metal song in the list. If there was a day I could live. So near the end of the song, there's a riff that goes from fret one to fret five. Not a horrible stretch, but then he decides to throw in the first fret on the D string. Great, thanks. So then he got something like this. Ah, oh, that stretch wasn't that hard on Guitar Hero. All right, let's do some Lamb of Jesus. Ah, oh, oh, my hand is like permanently stuck like this. So this one isn't metal, it's not fast, it's not some crazy solo, it's just a nice calm little song by the police that will kill your fingers! So the one chord in this song that kills me is this one right here. So as if these three notes weren't enough of a stretch already, Andy Summers decided to throw the second fret on the G string in there as well. Great! Ow. Ow. Is it possible for fingers to get stretch marks? stretch you take every ligament you break now the tapping riff at the beginning of this song haunted me for years I remember when this riff was impossible to play the problem is it's really hard to stretch like this with the tapping technique he uses see he doesn't just go that would be too easy right Instead, he decides to go back and forth like this. Not easy to do while stretching like this. Let me tell you, man, Dave Mustaine loves stretchy riffs. He, he essentially has a stretch fetish. So the Head Crusher opening riff stretches from 19 to 12, which isn't too crazy, but then he decides to throw in the 18th and 17th fret in there as well. So now we got this. Stretch finger! 
So the next guitarist on my list is one of my all-time faves. I'm talking about George Lynch. And he is no stranger to stretchy riffs. Take, for example, this lesson by him. This next shape is what I call gothic octave. It utilizes the fourth, fifth, and ninth. Fourth, fifth, and ninth? Fourth, fifth, ninth, fourth, fifth, ninth, fourth, fifth, ninth, fourth, fifth, ninth. How is anyone supposed to stretch like that? <laughs> so George Lynch with Dawkin takes the next song on our list. Hey, I didn't know Stevie Nicks was the singer for Dawkin. <gasps> so the solo to In My Dreams is where the long stretch is. He's got a riff that stretches from 12th to 20th fret, which is possible, but not at the speeds that he plays it. So, let's play it. <laughs> so here we go with Megadeth once again. But to be fair, this time it's Marty Friedman playing. God, I love Marty Friedman. Until this friggin' solo. So the solo to this song is one of these types of solos. But it couldn't be that easy, could it? No, nope, it couldn't be. Thanks, Marty Friedman. In this solo, he starts it off easy, but then consistently moves it up further and further until your fingers are like stretching from this fret until like next week. You know, most of the songs on these lists were actually recommended to me by you guys. So a lot of you were like, long guitar stretches, Alan Holdsworth. I mean, literally every single one of his songs could be on this list. Seriously, some of the chords he plays, he'll have a finger here and he'll have like one finger on the 29th fret and he'll have like one finger on a guitar across the room. Look at that stretch. That's not natural. His hand looks like some kind of crustacean. So the song I'm gonna use as an example is his song, The Things You See. Like, like what the heck is that? This wouldn't be so bad to play, but now you gotta do this? Like what the heck chord is that? How am I supposed to play this in time and stretch like that? this friggin' chord. Like, what the heck is this chord? <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's kind of fun. When my fingers aren't getting ripped out of their sockets. This song's impossible to play. The stretch is so freaking long. Okay, screw that, screw that absolutely. Like how does Mr. Big go from, I'm the one who wants to be with you, to this. Like, I can't even make the very first stretch. Ah, I think I freaking tore a ligament. I felt like something shift. It was like a ligament shift. You know, we've all heard the term dick move, like, dude, that was a dick move. But this, Paul Gilbert, this is a dick riff, man. That is a dick riff. Ah, oh, Paul! This riff is impossible! Wow, we made it to the end. Here is the worst song for people with small fingers. Megadeth again. Is anyone starting to notice a pattern here? Now, as far as I know, this song has the furthest stretch ever. There's a riff in this song that stretches from fret 12 all the way to fret 24, way up here. <laughs> it seems impossible, but we'll give it a try. <sighs> okay, that is friggin' impossible. Like, you know, <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so apparently it's impossible on a ukulele as well. Okay, being that Dave Mustaine's fingers aren't two feet long, how the heck does he play this? Oh, he uses his thumb. <laughs> Brilliant. That is harder than it looks, and oh, uh, Dave Mustaine, you're putting dentages in my thumbage. Dave! So, my fingers are killing me now. Actually, I'm pretty positive I dislocated every single one of my fingers. So, thanks guys. So anyway, I hope there's some of you out there who also have small fingers who could relate with me. And I'm sure there's some of you out there who are like, those stretches aren't that bad, Stevie. Yeah, well maybe not with your E.T. fingers. But some of us have little girl hands, man. The struggle is real. The struggle is... <laughs> you don't know what it's like. <laughs> Having to wipe your ass with two hands instead of one. I don't even know what that means. Anyways, I hope you had fun today. I know I did. So if you haven't already subscribed, stretch your little finger and touch on my face to subscribe. And stretch your little fingers and press one of my other videos to watch them. I'd really appreciate it, guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next video. Ow. Okay, my fingers are actually dead now. <laughs> that was dumb.